Hey guys, my name is Kamal and today we're going to be talking about the movie Swiss Army Man. Before you watch this video, there are spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen it, go watch the movie and then come back and watch this video. Alright, let's get into it. The first fart will make you laugh and the last fart will make you cry. This is what a friend told me when I asked what Swiss Army Man was about. Swiss Army Man by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Schnert, Shiner, Shiner, is unlike anything you've ever seen. The director somehow took a $3 million budget movie and made it look like a $40 budget movie, which for some reason makes it seem more unique and even more special. The film starts off with a castaway named Hank, Paul Dano, who is about to hang himself, when from the corner of his eye, he sees a body wash up on shore, which is Daniel Radcliffe. The castaway is ecstatic and he stops what he's doing. He runs over to the body and he's disappointed to find that it's just a corpse. The body suddenly starts moving and twitching around because it's farting. Hank notices this and decides to saddle up on the body. He ends up riding him like a jet ski all the way back to the mainland. Hank now finds himself in the wilderness, dragging a body he's named Manny. Hello? Hi. Yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah. Um, no. Okay. As I mentioned before, this film looks really cheesy. Be it the corny storyline that's literally based off of a fart joke, or the fact that they chose not to use too many special effects. Everything is fairly realistic, and when they do have something crazy going on, it's very simple. They also use the most original soundtrack I've heard in a long time. It's literally made up of sounds from Hank. Hank starts humming, for example, and then that becomes the base layer for the song. And then he starts going bum, 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 and then it adds on, and then it becomes this wonderful, strange song. It'll be the music I'm using right now. I think this really makes you feel as though you're in Hank's mind and you're stranded on the island too. All these effects create a truly immersive film. When Manny first wakes up, he can't remember anything, and yet he's an adult, and he can speak very well. Hank begins to explain simple things like what is garbage, what is home, and why does he want to go back home. Manny understands most of it, until Hank starts explaining things like socially unacceptable, such as farting in public, or that you can't say everything that's on your mind. I'm sorry, Hank, I'm just saying the things in my head. Well, you can't just say everything that comes into your head. That's bad talking. Manny can't comprehend why he would want to go back to such an awful place. This is when the audience starts to realize what the story is about. We realize all the things that society suppresses and that in reality, it makes us unhappy. And yet we conform to it anyways. What my friend said is true. At the beginning, we don't understand what farts mean, but towards the end, we understand their symbolism. Manny and Hank make it back to society, and Manny ends up dying because Hank shames him into thinking he's weird in front of people, showing that Hank is doing what society does to everyone. We think it's over because the police are taking Manny away, when suddenly, something in Hank leads him to start fighting for the body, which is a symbol for telling himself not to make him feel shamed by society. Hank never farts in the film, until the very last scene, when Hank brings Manny to the shore. Manny is in the water and isn't moving. The police are arresting Hank because at this point he seems crazy. Hank then decides to let one rip. It was me. I did it. Hank had been nagging on Manny, telling him not to do this in front of people. So this is a big moment because at this moment, Hank realizes that he doesn't have to follow society's rules. Everyone slowly turns to Manny, and what do you know? He's in the water, twitching and moving, and then Manny takes off into the horizon, just like a jet ski. Hank is happy because he doesn't need Manny anymore. He's incorporated that part into him and accepted it. In the end, we realize that farting is sort of a metaphor for expressing yourself and being free. From my understanding, the meaning of the film is for us to realize how much society suppresses us. Even subtle things, things we enjoy, thoughts we have, things we want to say. Overall, I think the directors did a fantastic job at telling a story that includes us versus telling a story that is just to us. A big part of that was the plot. The storyline is just so strange that we're intrigued and we have to keep watching. Of course, the cinematography and the effects helped a lot. 
the shots were long and raw. Lastly, the soundtrack again is just something that ties it all together. What I discussed mostly was just about farting and how it's freedom, but Swiss Army Man by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Schneid, Schneid, Shiner, Shiner, I think it's Shiner, is about so much more. Anyways, okay, thanks for, this was an English project, uh, last English project of ever, uh, happy birthday, good job, last project, hope you guys enjoyed this, peace. Okay.